separate Diablo 4 team that's been working hard on our next chapter. Ayo. So how about a little teaser? Ayo. Yo guys, what is up? Max for Diablo 4 video, and today we got a ton of announcements surrounding the game from BlizzCon. Uh, they announced a new expansion, they teased a new class, and some more content that's going to be coming out later uh, these next coming weeks for our current season. Today I want to break down everything that you need to know. Let's get right into it. So to start us off, they announced Malignant Rings. Now these are going to be rings that are coming into the game that will allow you to use class-specific malignant powers from last season. Uh, for example, they said that the necromancer power that allows you to like auto consume corpses is going to be coming back uh and all of these are going to be class specific so like the druid power that allows you to suck in enemies and bring them all to you uh that also might be coming back and so on and so forth the rogue card that allows you to like auto activate a bunch of impugments that might be coming back there is a dev campfire chat tomorrow where they're going to be doing more of a deep dive into these things so we'll probably learn more of the specifics of how these are going to work and if they're going to be like their own item or if they're going to be like a gem that you kind of socket onto a ring and then that ring will become malignant um but any way that this works out, uh, it's going to be another massive boost of power, and combining those malignant hearts with our already existing vampiric powers could lead to some even crazier builds than we have right now, uh, so very much looking forward to that. The next thing they announced is a new seasonal event called the Abattoir of Xur. Uh, this is a seasonal event that is going to evolve. They described this as endgame pinnacle content, uh, so they said like you're going to be engaging with this as a level 100, and it's going to drop or give us a unique glyph. This is the Tears of Blood glyph. Uh, it's pretty hard to read what this actually says. I like screenshotted it and zoomed in as much as I could. Once again, we'll probably learn more about this tomorrow, but it sounds like this glyph, this unique glyph, you're gonna be able to get from this event. And then as you do uh, parts of this event and you complete it uh, and progress through it, maybe this glyph is gonna level up. It's not gonna level up like a normal uh, glyph that you would with Nightmare Dungeons, and then this glyph is going to add a ton of power to our characters. Um, it looks like for every like one curse purchased within range, you gain increased damage, and then grants something bonus uh, to all rare nodes within range. Uh, probably just something that's going to make us even more powerful, uh, but something that we're going to have to engage with the new seasonal content to actually level up should be really exciting. Uh, the biggest thing that I'm excited about all of this is that they're doing things mid-season. Uh, one of my big issues with season one is they dropped it and then that was kind of it and just nothing else happened. Uh, the fact that we're getting all these injections of new content uh, just a few weeks into the season is really cool, so I'm glad that they're doing that. They also announced a new seasonal event that's going to be starting December 12th called Midwinter Blight that's going to transform all of Sanctuary into like a winter wonderland and uh, there should be like new things to earn and things to do. Uh, so that's another like mid-season thing that is going to be happening that all starts December 12th. And lastly, they announced a new Diablo 4 expansion that's going to be coming late 2024. Uh, the voiceover in this was Mephisto talking uh, and they showed or they panned over the jungles of Curast from Diablo 2. Um, sounds very cool. Uh, we don't have any like jungle scenery in the game right now and I've seen trailers of Path of Exile 2 that's got this like jungle maps um, and so it looks like we're going to be getting some of that added to Diablo 4 in a new expansion with new story following Mephisto um, as well as a new class. Now the new class they didn't actually specify what it is. Uh, we might learn more tomorrow from the dev campfire chat, uh, but they did say that it's going to be something that we've never seen before. So it's not going to be a like monk or a paladin um, or a witch doctor. It's going to be a brand new class. And so that is going to be very interesting. And they said that they're going to be showing more of this expansion and possibly new class during the summer of 2024. So that's probably when we're going to hear more about this. Guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I apologize about my voice. I'm currently pretty sick right now. I was actually supposed to be at BlizzCon, but I couldn't go because just been coughing up a fit lately. Uh, but yeah, guys, all sounds cool. And I'll make sure to have like an update video after the campfire chat goes live tomorrow uh, where they're going to deep dive into more of these details. I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace.